Good evening, I'm Pierce Campion. And I'm Sam Goldstein, and this is, is Breaking, Breaking News. News. You're back! I'm back, baby! That's great. Yeah, and guess what I brought with me? What? I'll give you a hint. What are we covering tonight? The environment. Right, and that means? Um, climate change, fracking, alternative energy sources, rising sea levels. Ding dong! You, rising sea levels? You brought that. No, I brought a solution. Okay, what is it? Sponges! Thousands of sponges gonna soak up all the extra sea with these. Pierce, that's crazy. Where would we even put the sponges? Don't be dumb, Sam. We put them in the sinks. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that adds up. Look, someone's gonna start doing something and it might as well be me. Well, I guess you're right. Rather than wasting our time talking about how climate change is bad, we should just list some of the things we can all do to help slow it down. Things like... Eliminating food waste. Yeah or reducing meat consumption. Livestock takes a bunch of land, water, and energy to produce. Yeah, that's why I started eating bugs. <laughs> yum, yum. <What? laughs> Pierce, don't eat bugs. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Eating bugs is good for me. How is it good for you? You're not in the fourth grade. Did somebody dare you, Pierce? Pierce, are you being dared? I'm not being dared. <laughs> bugs have as much protein and fiber as chicken. Besides, I, if I was being dared, you'd know, because I'd go all in, baby. I'd be kissing worms with each lip. <laughs> what? One each. <laughs> Is this for real, or are you just trying to trick me into eating bugs? I'm not trying to trick you. Chances are, you already eat bugs anyway. <laughs> All right, okay, that was one time, and it wasn't a bug. I licked a very thin rat. <laughs> it was skeletal. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm, I'm talking about the FDA. They let bug parts be packaged and sold in peanut butter and beer all the time. Oh, no. No, it's legitimate. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan encourages people to eat insects. People love former UN Secretary Generals. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, now there's a guy named Kofi. It's a nice one, Pierce. Hey, somewhere around 80% of all countries regularly feature bugs on the menu. Cricket pasta, filleted water bug, they're delicacies. That's disgusting. So are hot Cheetos, but we're licking that shit off our fingies Monday through Sunday. For whatever reason, we're spooked by crunchy little chocolate dipped crickets, but we'll gladly eat melodextrin, monosodium glutamate, buttermilk solids. What is all that? Those are all the Cheeto ingredients, Mom. <laughs> Pierce, why do you care so much about Cheetos? You know what it is? It's the dust, Sam. Why are we eating dusty food? There's enough dust as it is. Think of the drought over here. <laughs> Everything west of the Mississippi is dry powder. You're from Vegas. You should know. I am from Vegas, actually. Born and raised. I know. <laughs> Listen, eating more bugs instead of meat is only one of the many ways we could help out the g environment. Growing crickets requires way less water than cows, pigs, even chickens even. It takes one gallon of water to grow a pound of crickets compared to 2,000 gallons of water for a pound of beef. Ah, uh, Vegas baby, born and raised. <laughs> it's the Wild West it is. Stacks old cash and cacti run through my blood. With less water, Vegas is going rogue more than it ever has before. <laughs> really? How bad has it gotten? Pierce, I don't know if you saw Mad Max Fury Road. Great movie, yeah. Yeah, that's actually a documentary about life in the Vegas Badlands. I was in the movie, Pierce. I was one of the women. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, it's hard out there, Pierce. We pray for rain every day and night, but it never comes. Vegas needs that bug water, Pierce and I need to do something. Munching on ladybugs is a small sacrifice to help out my home, my heart, my- They won't just help, they'll save Vegas. You know, I like the sound of that. Eat bugs, save Vegas. Eat bugs, save Vegas. Eat, Eat bugs, save Vegas. Eat bugs, save Vegas. Eat Vegas, save bugs. Eat, save Vegas bugs. Here's the news. <laughs> A suspect in a bank robbery that took place on April 1st says the crime was simply an April Fool's joke. When asked for comment, friends of the man did not exist. <laughs> a routine traffic stop led cops to discover 500 grams of cocaine wrapped up inside a box of Lucky Charms. Wait, a routine traffic stop? So the officer was like, oh, I love Lucky Charms. And then they opened the bag and were like, oh shit, these guys are under arrest. <laughs> An 800-pound alligator was recently shot and killed by a farmer after it was caught eating cows. 
Size-wise, reports have compared the gator's head to a small boy, which is terrifying because that's almost as big as a big boy. <laughs> A man reportedly broke into a Five Guys in Washington, D.C. after it closed to cook himself some burgers, leaving without taking any money. There seemed to be someone else with the burglar, a large purple blob who refers to himself only as Grimace. <laughs> Microsoft's new automatic photo captioning application has been programmed to not recognize pictures of Hitler or swastikas, marking an exciting new era in Holocaust denial. <laughs> Bernie Sanders has been invited by Pope Francis to attend a meeting at the Vatican. Aides to both Senator Sanders and the Pope are nervous about the event, worrying about a classic Pope Senator switcheroo. <laughs> a German train dispatcher has been arrested for playing a game on his phone just before two trains collided head on, killing 12. <laughs> That's not the punchline. <laughs> the game was called Train Dispatcher Simulator 2016, which the man currently holds the world's lowest score in. <laughs> Actress Gwyneth Paltrow said she'd rather smoke crack cocaine than eat spray cheese. She's really missing out, though, because nothing pairs better with fine spray cheese than some aged crack. <laughs> A British couple is looking to cash in on their discovery of a large piece of whale vomit, possibly worth more than $70,000. Wow, if whale vomit was worth that much, my dad would finally be able to pay his bar tab. Oh. <laughs> Sam's dad is a whale? A group of nuns called the Sisters of the Valley have started growing medical marijuana in California. When asked if growing drugs conflicted with their faith, the sisters reference the Book of Cush, verse 420, which says there's nothing wrong with burning a little bush. <laughs> and that's the news! <laughs> should I'd like to apologize to my dad for that joke, which I did not write. Go ahead. It's okay, Sam. I'm Sam's dad, too. <laughs> Thanks to recent discoveries, we may now be able to predict heat waves up to two months in advance. The key, scientists say, is a distinctive pattern of water temperatures across a wide stretch of the North Pacific Ocean. The pattern doesn't guarantee a heat wave, but it significantly increases the odds of one happening as much as 50 days later. Wowza. I'm glad I have my local ice cream man, Terrence, on speed dial. Yeah, it's serious stuff, Pierce. Many Americans die from heat-related injuries every year. Wowza. I better call Terrence. <laughs> See if he's OK. Uh, well, I mean, if anything did happen, the ice cream man would be fine. Hi, Terrence. Anyway, all this means is just... Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey, Pierce, come on. Let's... Okay. Yeah, we'll talk later. I love you, too. Sorry, that was Terrence. <laughs> Got him on speed dial. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> okay. Look, these, these weather predictions are helpful to a lot of people who work in jobs that benefit from extra crisis preparation time. Here to help us prepare for heat waves and other environmental events are emergency planners Stephanie and Chelsea. Woo! Oh my god, this is so neat. Look at this place, it looks so sterile and friendly. So friendly, I could see myself being very safe here. True, true, <laughs> me too. Um, ladies? Friendly? <laughs> well, okay, yeah, welcome to the studio. We are glad you like it. We like anywhere that seems safe. True. <laughs> Why don't you start by telling us what an emergency planner does? Well, just what it sounds like. For example, when we get word of some heat coming, we just make sure that the heat isn't so heated. <laughs> In other words, we take measures like establishing cooling centers at schools and other buildings. <laughs> yes, and setting up programs to monitor homeless people and the chronically ill Americans, make sure they're all peachy keen and peachy safe. Peachy. <laughs> peachy. And you guys help communities uh, for all kinds of disasters? Exactly. Of course. <laughs> we just want to make sure everyone is safe. We're just a couple of cautious girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have our ear to the nose to the heart of all the scientific advancements, allowing us to stay as safe as we can be. <laughs> the environment is crazy. Oh. <laughs> crazy dangerous. True. A girl's got to do what she can to be safe Pretend. and safe. Mm. We look at charts. Yes, and yes, and statistics and charts. So many charts. <laughs> charts that go up. Charts that go down. <laughs> charts that tell us things. Like how long we've been best friends. <laughs> Forever! <laughs> That is what the chart says. <laughs> How'd you girls get into this business? Well, <laughs> we know a thing or two about danger and extreme heat. Uh, why is that? Because of where we grew up. Oh, where are you from? 
Vegas, Vegas baby, baby, born and raised. No, uh, no, that's my only thing. Another Vegamite? Small world. Oh, so you understand then what we're talking about. It was so hot we could cook eggs on the sidewalk. <laughs> and we did. We did. It tasted better that way. Oh, and remember when we try and cool down by going for broke in the casinos? <laughs> that was dumb of us. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing hotter than a slot machine in Vegas heat, baby. <laughs> wow. They are from Vegas. <laughs> yes. Whatever. But for you, Pierce, to help you better understand what we do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have a little musical number. <laughs> you know, just to explain our jobs and how to prepare for any kind of disaster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Natural or otherwise. <laughs> Is that okay? If you sing, yeah. <laughs> Las, Las Vegans are normally tone deaf, but fine. <laughs> Anything for a fellow Vegamangus? <laughs> Not what Vegas people call each other. Shush. <laughs> okay, let's match pitch. Uh, uh, oh, I'm a little pitchy tonight. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. So disasters can be big and disasters can be small, but we are the girls who are prepared for them all. A heat wave in the city or a spill on your gown. Me and my girl Chels are the safest in the town. The ice caps are melted and the sun is hot. Take it away, stuff, that's all I've got. <laughs> if you're in a storm or in a flood, don't be alone, you need a bud. The buddy system is what it's about. You gotta conserve water if you're in a drought. <laughs> and if you're hungry, boy, you should eat some bread. If you're gonna ride a bike, you need a helmet on your head. And if you're not prepared for heat wave, then you're gonna, gonna be, be dead. dead. You're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna be done. Dead. Um, dead. Truly oh, dead. Dead. Oh, Out of it. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> keep going. I was loving it. It was uh, dope. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh, uh, uh. And if you're in a hole, you should probably have a ladder. Uh. And if you have to pee, then you need a bigger ladder. Uh. Thank you. Stop it. Don't bend under a tree in a lightning storm. And if your vice is bees, then you better hope it's not a swarm. But if it is, well, that's okay. You can stay safe with Earth-friendly bug spray. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was feeling it, and I did it. You guys are the best Las Vegamans ever. Yeah. Uh, get the f out. Well, that's not a safe environment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. The, Stephanie okay. and Chelsea, the emergency planners, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I gotta cool down. The rhyming was contagious. Global warming is outrageous. Mm -mm. No, 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 Pierce. Hey, just, just don't do it. First things first, protect the earth. Plant a tree, drink some tea, hug a dolphin, kiss your mom. Be mindful of the effects of atomic Bomb! Uh, oh God. Oil, 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 please don't frack. Oil, 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 we're going to commercial. We'll be right back. All right. Oil, oil, oil. Uh.
man, this election season's really heating up, huh, Pierce? Nah. What do you, what do you mean? I don't know, it's just not doing anything for me. Really? The Republicans are headed towards a contested convention, and Sanders has just won 16 against Clinton's 18 states. This is like the ghost pepper of elections. I don't know, it's like, I don't have any say in who wins or loses anyway, so. Pierce, it's a democracy, everybody's got a say. Even little round-headed boys like you. Yeah, my head's very round, but my soul has voter ID laws, so I can't vote. Well, you don't have a driver's license? Um, have you seen the movie Cars? Those things have faces and stuff on them now. You wouldn't ride inside of a horse, so why would you want to be all up in Lightning McQueen's insides? <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not a great reason, but whatever. Do you have a passport? No, I'm not a communist, but thanks for asking. When we reopened diplomatic relations with Cuba, I burned that sucker. All right, yeah. What about a social security card? I'm more of an introvert, not really a social guy. So. <laughs> okay, how about a birth certificate? Everybody's got a birth certificate. No, technically I haven't been born yet. So. How, how, all right, okay, yeah, yeah. It just happens that so many Americans are just like you, Pierce, or at least in similar positions. For more on voter ID laws and other enemies of democracy, we go to Sam Benson Smith in the election corner. Thanks, Sam. Pierce. Today's segment is sponsored by Zootopia, because Disney mistook us for a legitimate television program. Much like the candidates on the campaign trail, we here at Breaking News are not above shamelessly pandering to youths, which is why this edition of Election Corner will be presented as a listicle. <laughs> Ready? Here are four shocking reasons American democracy is crumbling, ellipses. <clears throat> Number one, voter ID laws. But first, check out this gif of a panda sliding down a hill. Where are my millennials at? <laughs> Over there. Okay. <laughs> That's just delightful. Voter ID laws are supposedly made to prevent voter impersonation, but all they really do is keep elderly, disabled, and minority voters from voting. I mean, damn, Daniel, back at it again with the disenfranchisement. <laughs> <clears throat> Reason number two, superdelegates. They only exist in the primary, and they can choose to vote for whichever candidate they want, no matter how people vote. This power has been, never been used to overturn the public's decision in a primary, but it could be. And if there's ever been an election where party leaders might want to pull out the nuclear option, it's this one. What a Zootopia! <laughs> Reason three, contested conventions. For all you cute little inter internet monkeys out there, a convention is like a group message, only in real life and with fewer emojis. In a contested convention, if a majority is not reached in the first round of voting, all delegates are allowed to vote as individuals. Right now, Politico's insider team says there's a 90% chance of a contested convention on the Republican side, and it's possible that Democrats could experience one too. So yeah, that would be like bad if that happened, probably. What, what a Zootopia! <laughs> Great. I can do this too, you know. What, where did you come from? It's not that hard, I can read. Alone. I can also read alone, too, also, too. <coughs> well, now, now there's two of you. Yeah? What's your point? Even if you could do this alone, you guys can't handle being apart from each other for any amount of time. Yeah? What's your point? Huh? <laughs> well, if you two really think you can do it, feel free. It's all yours. Great. This brings us to reason number four on our list, you. In 2012, only 53% of people voted in the general election, and that's our favorite election to vote in. When half of the electorate doesn't vote, it's no surprise that we consistently end up with politicians who represent special interests over their constituents. Yeah. So don't be a dummy. Go vote this time. Do it for the Insta. Do it for the Vine. I like this corner. All right, all right, get the hell out of here. Fine, but we yeah. nailed it. Yeah. We nailed it. Whatever. <laughs> Before I sign off for the evening and for the remainder of the season, per our agreement with Disney, we are legally required to say, what is Zootopia, four more times. Here we go, what is Zootopia? What is Zootopia? What is Zootopia? <laughs> <laughs> Back 
to you, Salmon Pierce. Sweet, sweet taste of melty ice mountains. Sam, don't trivialize the issue of global warming. Well, what am I gonna do, Pierce? Drink tap water like a poor? Sam. <laughs> I'm serious, you should really be worried about the melting Arctic ice. Sea levels in the Arctic are expected to rise 50 centimeters this century. Oh, wow, that is actually very serious. It is, it's a very serious issue, and that's why we're talking about it on our very serious news show. Here to comment is someone personally affected by the ice right now. Please welcome Pola R. Bernstein. <laughs> It's great to be here, boys. It's great to have you here, Pola. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just admiring some of the fancy stuff you have in this studio. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sammy's got some big camis. It's Kimmy Fanny, <laughs> Kimmy Blammy, <laughs> Kimmy Randy, Kimmy Pammy. Yeah, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's neat. But I, I mean, I'm talking about this desk and uh, these chairs. And those chairs, it's crazy. All my furniture at home is made out of ice. Oh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, thank you. <laughs> Just to clear up, when you say home, you mean you were born in the Arctic? Uh, well, sort of, I, I was adopted. Wow, that's amazing. So your parents are like native to the Arctic or what? Uh, duh, Sam, <laughs> they're polar bears. Oh, you were raised by polar bears. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm a polar bear. Ah. No. <laughs> no, you're not. You're a fuzzy girl. Hey, uh, Pierce, Pierce, don't be rude. What? Just let her be a bear, man. I feel like this is the type of thing you'd usually get on board with. No, Sam, I have a keen eye for bears. <laughs> Thanks for sticking up for me, Sam. Uh, unlike most of the world, trying to make me go extinct, bears are people too. Mm. Except me, I'm a bear. <laughs> no. You're welcome. So, Pola, how do you feel about the ice cover in the Arctic Sea declining by over 30% in the last 30 years? Oh, uh, it's terrible. My home is being destroyed and my family members are disappearing. And here I am on your little pretend news show for babies. Hey, it's a very Big pretend show for very serious babies. Just look at this picture of my sister, okay? This is what the humans are doing to us. Oh. 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 Ew. Wow, that's, that's horrible. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right, Pola. We, as humans, as in all of us, who are all humans here and nothing else, should really be doing something to stop wildlife from ending up in that condition. I'm not mad about that, Pierce. This is a completely unrealistic beauty standard for us polar women bear people. Oh. Do you know how many less raw fish I would have to eat to maintain a body like that? I can't even open this with my paws. <laughs> Jesus, that's, that's, no. I mean, <laughs> that bear is working it. Stop, guys, we should <laughs> talk about how the Arctic Sea is changing and how dangerous that is. Do you know that the more snow disappears, the ocean gets darker and darker? And when that happens, it attracts more heat from the sun. Ever heard of it? The water is heating at an exponential rate. Wow, Pierce. Uh, I didn't know you were so passionate about my freezy popsicle home. I am. Sure. The environment is important, and what happens in the Arctic affects the rest of the Earth. I'm not usually into heat, uh, but I like seeing you all fired up like this. You know, you really know how to talk to a bear. You're not a bear. Hey. I'm hot, too. <laughs> Okay, look, for the second year in a row, Arctic ice coverage has been at an all-time low. Pola, can you please comment on how you've seen your home change since you were a kid? A cub. You're not a bear. Oh, yeah? Yeah? If I weren't a bear, could I do this? Oh, <laughs> uh, I wish I was that coke. Fine, you're a bear. You have fur and paws and claws, even. Thank you. Okay. I have so many memories of rolling around in the snow with 
Mama and Papa Bear when I was little. There was so much snow. Now, there's just like a lot less snow, you know? <laughs> Please go on. We used to be able to walk for miles on the ice, holding paws. Those were the days. Now we fall through the floor all the time. Our polar home is melting. Um, I mean, you could stay at my place. I turn the air conditioning up so, so high. Could you be more specific? Like, do you have any hard numbers we could use, like sea levels or stuff? I mean, no, Pierce. I'm not a scientist. I'm. I just... know. Yeah. Yeah, you're an easy, freezy, bearful polar girl. <laughs> polar Bernstein, everybody. <laughs> the humans are destroying everything I love. Yeah. Ah, uh, she was nice. She was fine. Let's go to our out-of-studio correspondent, Dip, who prepared a report for us on her environmental ad adventure into the Esplanade. Dip? Ah, uh, nature. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. Nature is the outdoors. Humans once lived in nature, but now we live in houses. Some people say that the nature is getting too hot and that we will not see nature anymore someday. I don't know about that. Nature is animals and leaves and fish and grass. And uh, rivers and, uh, and, uh, and water. And, uh, this is Dip and this is my nature documentary. Ah, nature. My name is Dip. Today I'm making a movie about dirt. <laughs> oh, oh, is it hot out today? I wonder why. Let, we'll explore it. <laughs> Look at the fungus. You see, if, if you scrape this off the rock and then you take it home and you boil it, you can eat it for soup. <laughs> that's, that's true. These are all the different rocks that are in the Boston. See, this one's uh, the, the paleo, and this this one's the Venus. This, this one, a bunch of ants live under this one. Big, big grass angel. Dirty. <laughs> There's no such thing as global warming. It's so nice out. If, it would be it would be hot. Uh, it's made for real mountains. Ah, mountain dew. Tastes like dew. Ah, flowers in the spring. No global warming here. That means, dude. What's about dew? What do you think of global warming? Done with this. <laughs> the sun is hot, and you're not supposed to look at it, unless you got these. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't even <laughs> hurt. Okay. Feels good. <laughs> Dib, where are you going? The water's safe to drink! No. <laughs> Dib. No. Water. Boston, cleanest city in the world. <laughs> Look at the tail on that one. <laughs> hey! Hey, come back! Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> She's just thirsty. <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> Isn't nature a beauty? <laughs> what are you doing? Someone left all this dirt out. <laughs> Good stuff, very informative. I agree, thank you, Dip.
Uh, now, ch climate change has been a hot button issue. Nice, you're on a roll. Dude. Yeah, facing the world today. End of the sentence, good. It's getting hot in here, and I'm gonna take my clothes off. Don't, no, 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 Pierce, don't do that. But Sam, uh -uh. it is getting so hot. Yep. <laughs> Pierce, our show is G-rated, not PG. Look, Sam, you expect me to wear water wings with my shirt on? Why do you need water wings? The ice caps are melting, Sam. Coastal regions are gonna get soaking, sloppy, wet, and I can't swim good, so I need water wings. I mean, I guess you're right, Pierce. With major cities like New York, New Orleans, and Seattle all along the coast, we'll need to plan on how to combat, combat fight these rising sea levels. <laughs> a plan better than water wings? Oh, I got a boat town. We tie a bunch of boats together, <laughs> make it a town. Uh, many people, such as U.S. President Barack Obama, claim climate change is one of the greatest threats facing the country. But some think it could be a good thing? Here to talk about it is devil's advocate, climate lobbyist Robert Beacons. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure, if you want. <laughs> Call you I'm on. here to tell you why climate change is the raddest thing to happen since jean shorts. Uh, jean shorts aren't rad. Oh, I beg to differ, Sam. And besides, soon it'll be so hot, you will have to turn your jeans into shorts, whether you like it or not. But I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Um, <laughs> Robbie, with so many people speaking out against climate change, why are you so in favor of it? Listen, before we get into the nitty gritty details of this bore drying subject, I've got a question for everyone here. Do you guys like summer? Yeah! <laughs> oh boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the summer, people, Sam. <laughs> now, what if it was summer all the time? I know the earth is getting hotter, but hey, why does that have to be such a bad thing? Um, I could think of a million reasons. Sam, let's take a look at dopey old Alaska. What comes in your mind when you think of Alaska? Cold, icy, boring, Sarah Palin show, bleh. All that empty space just wasting away. Now imagine Puerto Rico, but bigger and where Alaska used to be. <laughs> future, baby. Okay, but what about all the polar bears, grizzlies, salmon, and other countless animals who will likely go extinct with rising global temperatures? <laughs> Well, you know what they say about breaking eggs, Sam. They're very easy to break. <laughs> That's true. I crushed one in my hand once. <laughs> sure you did, champ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look, everyone is talking about... <laughs> Look, everyone is talking about these droughts hitting the West, but you know where there's a bunch of water? Those cute, chubby little ice chunks up north. I say we unfreeze those puppies and boom, drought solved. But Robbie, won't most of that water just go into the ocean? And once fresh water becomes salt water, it becomes very difficult to desalt it or ugh, unsalt it. Desalinize, champ. Oh, Robbie, you're so smart. <laughs> oh, uh -uh. No, 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 he's not smart. He's a swindler, he is a con artist. Shh, 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 shh. Hush, little babies. The earth is getting hotter whether we like it or not. For every person driving a hybrid car, someone is out there burning tires in their backyard. And that person is me. I've burned millions. We all have to do our part. Wow. So what can I do to help? What? No, no, no. Pierce, no. Well, Pierce, you can start by supporting your local oil and coal boys. Those hard workers are doing their part to power America. And hey, you like America, don't you, Sam? Um, I do. Now, what would you say if I told you that this country wouldn't be what it is today without you? Wow, really? Oh, I mean it. You're amazing. We need more people like you. Permanent residents of Las Vegas, babe. We need those, just like we need more heat. Yeah. Well, geez. Thanks, Robbie. Well, that's it for me. I'm glad you boys learned an important lesson. Burn fossil fuels, make this earth warm, and most importantly, be yourself. What do you say, boys? Is this going to be the best summer of our lives or what? We, we love, love summer. summer. We, we love, love you, Robbie. Atta, boys. Until next time, I'm Robbie Beacons. Let's make it hot. Oh, my hero, Robbie Beacons, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the f just happened? 
I have no idea. I was like under this spell. I've never been so happy. I've never felt so patriotic. Do we? Did he? We just got conned. No way. But he was so smooth about it. Was he the devil? Oh, no, come on. No, 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 Pierce. He was standing in front of fire. Those horns were real. Oh, f He just eat the sh out of us. We ate the apple. No, climate change is bad. Is it's it? bad. Yes, yes, it is. I, I think I want ice cream. I want to call Terry. No, 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 no. We just interviewed the devil. Oh, my God. I'm going to need a moment to process anything. Um, f We'll be right back. Vanilla? <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, did you protect this? No, uh, that was your job. Maggie, oh my god, I do it every no, week. No, no, I no, told but, you this but, is the one but we I didn't about want this. responsibility. Okay, um, I need to pick my legend. Oh my god, look, they got us slushies. Now get used to it. Come on, give me my mic. Mic me. Hi, I'm Christian Mudrick. And I'm Maggie Morlat. And you're watching Real Reactions. On the Emerson Channel. Hi, I'm Aaron Kinningsberg, host of EIV's The Dish. Tune in every Friday for your chance to see what kind of bow tie I pulled out of my closet today. to be over. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, let, let's get to the list. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Hell. <laughs> A list of things Pierce and I said we would do in our final episode of Breaking <sighs> News. Number one, Pierce drinks a whole glass of whole milk upon the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2%. <laughs> uh, number two, Pierce drinks a whole glass of 2% milk upon the camera. Oh, sick. <laughs> what are the rest of them? Uh, number three. <laughs> number three. Pierce drinks a whole glass of 1% Oh, I milk. remember. Yeah, let's just skip to number five. <laughs> okay. Uh, number five. Pierce and Sam say the naughty words that they're not allowed Ooh, to say. Ooh. Gunch. Spack. Cump. Spock. Skink. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number six, Pierce teaches Sam how to tie his shoes. Let's see him. Okay. All right. uh, so you take the laces in your hands. Yeah. You gotta untie these bags. Yeah, boys. I don't know who did that. Me. Oh, right, right, right. Thanks. This morning. Okay. All right, so take the laces in your hands. Yep. The left lace is the frog, okay. and the right lace is the goose. Got it. The tiny little frog spots a big old goose, and the frog asks the goose why his shoes are so loose. The goose gets mad, and the frog digs a hole, and then a doggy comes, and his name is Gunch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done. Great. Uh, number seven, they kiss. Got it. <laughs> number seven, Sam tells his favorite monologue joke. <clears throat> An earthquake in Japan killed nine people. But check this out. <laughs> I'm a Lego boy. <laughs> uh, number eight, Pierce gets to be a correspondent. Yes. Everyone, please welcome our next correspondent, Fetch Inglewood. Hi. Thank you, Sam. I'm Fetch Inglewood. I'm here to talk about my buddy Pierce. That sounds great. It's not! I don't want to be here! Pierce is under the desk right now! He's got a gun pressed up against my skink! All right, um, we probably don't have time for the other 28. I think we got through most of the good ones, though. I mean, I didn't get to tell my story about going down a hill really fast. With, you know, you win some, you lose some. Hey, we didn't, uh, we didn't use any tongue. Uh, where did... I just lost my gun, so just don't move. 
Where did Fetch go? <laughs> Pierce! Forget it. It doesn't matter. All right. Uh, I guess that's all the time we have for you tonight. Thank you for watching, and thanks to everyone who helped make this season of Breaking News a thing. We love you almost as much as we love each other. Almost. Yeah. Good night. <laughs>